welcome back to its play Umineko. I'm gonna say Umineko for this episode when they cry in the last part. We start that was a really short prologue and now we're gonna actually start the game. Good morning, my lady. My my, you do appear to be in a good mood. What a pleasant awakening you seem to have had. <laughs> what do you mean playing away? Should, should music be playing? I was so excited, I couldn't sleep a wink. After all, the current ride on a fun fourth game. Didn't you have truly been excited? Should there, wait, should there be music playing? <laughs> I, I'm s I'm just gonna, um, scroll through this. Okay, okay, sorry. It's just, I swear there was music playing when this started. Alright, sorry. Okay, so... It seems she had truly been so excited she hadn't gotten any sleep. Was the fact she showed absolutely no signs of lacking sleep because she was young or because her mental age was young? Well, I'm sure not to say that loud and laughed poo coo coo instead. I really ran that bounce to the ground last time. I had a little faith when he, was, when he was like, You tricked me! That was so pathetic. Ian, so is that guy feeling down? Feeling down, you say? Hmm, oh, well, that's right. That person I'm too trying for his age, right? That is true. Also, you could call it this charm. Pick, pick, pick you. Ha 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 ha. Isn't that true? Isn't that true? Well, speaking of which, didn't you quite fall from that line last time? Yes, completely and splendidly. You violated the purity called by never being tricked by a person once since born, since birth, as well as his rest boon like innocence, all to your heart's content. Even though the joy of running around a field covered with beautiful new snow on a winter morning trampoline will completely even begin to compare. Didn't you take back this almost innocent heart? And quite thoroughly, spinningly, trossly, mercilessly, and uncultly just go a little too far? And you assault him in the highest degree, although to make one uneasy. But people will start to feel down. Pick a pick a pick you. So much that they won't even want to see your face again. So, so you understand? I uh, so that would be just too hard that he wouldn't join our table. You know, fork and finally start. That would be such a pain. Then we better prepare a countermeasure for that case before I ask you first. I swear there should be music playing. Hmm. In that case, probably be best to prepare a countermeasure. Most. F oh, thank you, thank you, music. Most unfortunately, due to your north wind and sun strategy, about some have received quite the shock. <laughs> A shock, you say? How badly? Buto lowered her voice slightly, acting timidly. I went along with that and lowered his voice in the same way. In truth, he had been crouching, clutching his knees for some time now. I spoke to him several times, but he did not answer. I also carried him food, being made over to touch it. So that is troublesome. Is he really feeling that down? Pick a pick a pick you. He is only natural. After all, you did it through early, my lady. That will make most people talk to distrust humans. I don't trust a human, how convenient. Let him go on human trust witches. <laughs> oh. <coughs> Sorry, I shouldn't fool him around too much. We do try and joke about but seeing that the situation was quite serious, and she had a laughter reading between the lines. Is it really that serious? Sh should we wait a little longer before bringing the fourth game? Because the Lady Book and those guests will be coming. It may be appropriate to open the fourth game quickly. However, it may be useful if you want to show a little consideration, my lady. Consideration! Consideration, you say? How should I show that? He is feeling down, so. Smooth jazz! So, uh, wait. Oh, wow, this is really loud. It's too loud. I don't even know what it was. Consideration, I had it. He's fine now. So that's right. Should I cheer him up? When a person's heart is dark and goes off, it is useless to interact with them darkly. What is with this song? I love it. You know, see much shine when the point is stronger than your than the dark. I think the volume is at thirty, actually. Wait, what? Uh, quit messing around. Yeah, bad raccoon over here. A croissant. Big bar of zombie waste on the likes of you. Why don't you enjoy and I enjoy myself? Beat you up, girl. Come here. That was some involuntary ground the fragrant smell of the croissant. His breakfast plate was empty. Bauer hadn't eaten any of it. 
The biggest glutton of the Seven Sisters of Purgatory, Beelzebub, waited for Rom to leave, and then came and snatched the food away. That were knows, and they had a really noisy ever since. You know, Beelzebub only had to give it, only had to give back immediately, or else throw it in her mouth right away. She intently ran around in circles, making fun of Batward. Get my breakfast bag! If you get back now, I'll let you off the single foot to the forehead. Start eating it. So you gonna eat me instead? Oh, whoa! That'd be yummy. Yeah. If you can eat me, just try it. I'll bet you be as sweet as honey pancakes. Yeah. Gotcha. Right now, I want that brain more than your thighs. Be a good girl and give it here. So you resist until the end? No, I won't give it to you. Even the croissant wants to eat. Wants me to eat it. This croissant must be very. It's like, how are you doing, croissant? Do you want? Do you want me to eat you? Wait, no, oh, oh, it's that funny ASD. It was like, but I want to die. <laughs> like, she was like, but I want to die. Yeah, Yahoo! Good morning, Batler. I used to mum so in the morning. It's a game, a new day, a new game to witch your spirits up. She opened the door forcefully, like a marathon running, drawing a certain camera, camera box. With her hands held high and an idiotic cheer as Beato appeared. For some reason, flags from around the world and confetti scattered around, looking completely stupid and out of place. That one be as above. When fighting over the croissant, we forgot about their argument speechless. Yeah. Good morning, Beatrice Samba. That's all for me. Here, bro, can you say, ah. Uh, no! Hmm. <laughs> hey, morning, Beato. I see you're in perfect form this morning. But you don't back look at each other. She didn't need how to cool what's going on with the, with the other. But Battler, wh what is this, Rano? Doesn't he look like he's in high spirits? He isn't clutching his knees and he's answering. Wait a second, he would even middle of eating. Pooky, pooky, pooky. No, he's sleeping like a baby in his futon, clutching his knees. I informed that I was time to wake up, but he just wouldn't get up. I tried to feed him, but seeing that a hungry, a naughty cat delivered in prevented that. Picky, 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 picky. Grrrr! You tricked me! Hey, you should talk. We're the one who played that massive trick last time. I don't have a clue what's going on. But you got what you deserve. <laughs> By the way, Rano. Nice one! Give me a high five. I called Joe back, bro. <laughs> Woohoo, friendship! Thank you ever very much, Batka Summer. The two men struck up their thumbs as though they understood each other, chuckling together. For a while, Beto acted very energetically, trying to hide in her embarrassment. Heh. <laughs> Don't take me so lightly. Did you really think I'd be hiding in the corner holding my knees? Oh, then who was that person crying over their eyes in their frustration last time? You could have gathered your turn in a jar and quite your incarnate face lotion. Shut up, that was just because I was surprised by your crappy act. I looked a little lame, but don't I think that same move worked twice? Of course, that was the point of my falling for a same move over and over, alright? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just you watch. I'll tease out of my guy to get stronger every time he's beaten down. Hmm, nice boobs, Beatrice. I like them. But Beato, who you? Marry me. Huh? Why? Don't do it again. How? Oh? Why is that? So you really are weak against your re re attack? You and I are enemies, and we certainly never joined forces. I now understand that clearly. So never again is something on the planet trying to make me confused about that fact. <laughs> you said I know you're weak now. Vito Vonchi was joking around, but they had disappeared from Batward's expression some time ago. Vito felt those eyes were the surface of the black tea, which had cooled down. You hear me? Don't do it again. Oh, I don't get it. I might do it again when you're forgotten, right? Don't do it again. I want to do woman. I the woman. Don't do it again. I will do. I will grope your titties. Ow! What if I want you to do it? Then I won't do it. Yeah. She replied a strong and forceful gaze. Beto held her tongue. She may have thought the bow would surely break that silence with laughter. However, bow expression didn't change in the slightest. So to break that silence, Beto had noticed it with a start laughing herself. 
<laughs> Very well, you and I are worthy opponent. No matter how good our relationship, we are never anything more than a pair of enemies. If you almost saying this, that is enough for me. That's right. I forgot that you were my enemy for just a second. I will show us a grateful display again. I won't fall for your rear attack again. Not again. Not again, not again. Foo! <laughs> they say the weirdest noises. Seeing I am no longer not wait for the fourth game. I am pleased, Batara. Come, take your seat. Yep. Just how I like it. In my seat. I can feel my booty warm. You know, be it to what took a poop right here. Kind of smell. Good thing you cleaned it up. Okay, little tricks won't work anymore. Stop acting so tough. You made a stay of surrender for the last mystery in the previous game. The mystery not was murder. I am still waiting for an answer on that one. That doesn't mean I've lost heart. I would definitely break your red truth and show that I can eye witches. Witches ain't but tricks. <laughs> I love that. Uh, it's on my bitches ain't. Yeah, but hoes and tricks. I'm trying not to swear in my videos. Can you know, open up so people won't be like, "Oh my god, he shit the f word." Uh uh, unsubbing, I'm unsubscribing. Ha! Huh. A good deposition. You enjoy our man like a ph phoenix, right? <laughs> I don't know why I got so excited. Don't betray my expectations. I actually got my other laptop right here. You can't, you can't see it. I'll like, I won't do anything. It. It's pretty, it's pretty crap, but we got, I got it for free, and it's in, a it's an Aspire V, and it's like, it's a desk, it, it's a netbook, so that's why it's slow, but I like it, that's a little, I mentioned it, I tried to record, I tried to record on it, but it didn't work out. With that, let's raid the current on the fourth game. Before that, see now we must welcome a new guest. A guest. You are not well, right? That mysterious girl appeared to be in the last game without an invitation. Really, my fun. That person was really hot. She said that she wants to join our game. I sent her official invitation. Try and invite her to join this match. Right now, call the guest. The voice that answers beats was called came from the darkness corner of the room. Hey Angie. When Bowler turned around surprised, he could now see that mysterious girl there. My my, how rude. Once you came, all you had to do was greet us. Wow, and what is that? Yeah, why is she speaking English? I always click that button. Oh, it's saying that like somewhat sometimes I speak English. Yeah, here's Angie. I don't know why Maria's here. Virgil is not here. Here's Angie. She's become Angie Beatrice. Pretty cool. I could laugh. I could truly laugh. Beato chuckled and clapped her hands. But that was only Beato. Nothing more than backwards face set the bitter smile. Phew! You sure are a fighter. That one of the girl's eyes met, and as he said that, he shrugged his shoulders. But the girl didn't answer, giving only a cold stare in return. Battler, how do you- Okay, Battler. Just- to, Okay, Battler. That's your- How do you not see that's your sister? They could be twins. She's 18 right now. They could be twins. No, no, mouse. Don't do it! Seriously, they could be twin. They are- They could be twins if they were born the same year. And they just have the same hair, seriously, same, how do you not see it? And how did Rudolph make redhead twins, like, redhead, like, siblings? He's, I don't get it. Was, was as it, as it must have been, like, albine, like, really freaking pale or something. Maybe she was a redhead and, like, I guess her genes kind of won over, even though gene, redheads are recessive. Help me on the last moment of the previous game. I'm grateful. <laughs> That's so true. Top slogging off Batler. <laughs> Beatrice tried to laugh along with her, but didn't reach the girl with his ears. She had absolutely nothing except stare at Batler with cold eyes. Well, it looks like someone hates me.
You say I'm not serious? I'm fine being in my own way. And seriously, of course. I love that. Keep the jokes of your hairstyle. Well, pfft, that's because I was used as... Shut up! You're mean, dude! If the pathetic way I've been acting makes it look like I haven't been serious to you, you're mistaken. And of course, I know I've gotten close in a lot more before I can grab Beach about the collar. But no matter how long that distance is, it is finite. And in each game that passes, I am steadily quoting that distance step by step. Day by day, we are walking in our way with a great big hug and a kiss from from you, won't you? I swear I got those songs confused. That's, that was, I think, the step by step, day by day, we are walking in your way. It's like a, it's like a Christian song or something. You, you, I don't know. I think I remember it and like I had to sing it, in kindergarten. <laughs> no matter how long it takes, I will close in on a witch. And I'll definitely checkmate her. I might have one found news like she always says, but even so, eventually, I will certainly win. Why? Because I definitely won't accept losing, because I am the battle rough. I definitely won't stop walking, I'll keep coining in on her. So in other words, there's just one thing I can say for sure. I would definitely win against that witch someday. That's how it is. Are you? It's not like you'll be struck by lying if you just tell me your name. At that point, the girl fell silent. Gaden's free. <laughs> she's like, she's like, she's, she's like, bruh, 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 bruh. You, you don't, you don't see it. I'm your sister, mate. I, I am your sister, and now I'm talking in an accent. He's like, he's like oh, 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 are, are you my sister? No, bruh, I'm your... Yes. Seriously, how does he not see it? Stop it, mouse! This is a per bad mouse. At first, Bauer faulted over the firmness of that look and his gaze wavered slightly. But then his eyes gradually began to suck into the people that were staring at him. Then he saw light that he had been... Then, he saw a light that he had seen sometime before inside of them. I was struck with how they strongly resembled the eyes of a girl who definitely couldn't be here. That's completely impossible. I know it's stupid, but for some reason I'm getting that feeling. But that can't be right. That person's supposed to be a six-year-old girl. It can possibly be Angie, could you? Oh, oh okay. No, I took you. Well, okay. I thought it would take you long to figure out that. It, that okay. Did you buy? I'm Angie, but okay, sis. I'm gonna beat her booty. You got it, Onichan. Kamehameha, cause I get. <laughs> I learned the Kamehameha. You say it like that, there's no way I can argue back. Sorry, that's right, I am a softy. That should have been made clear after that last game. Is that what you mean when I said I wasn't serious? That's harsh. 
Bruh, don't be harsh. <laughs> oh, that? That thing that runs around and run a wheel night after night. How? You like, you like in my English is something like a wheel that a mouse plays in? Interesting, interesting. Jack, um, cackle. Is it cack? It's cackle. How did I just say jackal? Sorry. Cackle. <laughs> I'm trying to say how she's laughing. She does say cackle a lot. Hmm, what's so funny? Also, uh, Angie has a, do you show me a, like, I guess symbol? So that could be another, that would be like, wait, you got, hey, I got, oh, yeah, you're Angie. <laughs> what a sort of woman. She has your world being called my enemy. Who are you? Have you become Genji Battler? Oh, sorry, sorry. It, it happens. So my voice just gets really deep. It's, it's Is it magic? It's not magic. That's right. Unless I'm in a pretty bad. I forgot to be at least that careful. I don't intend to be in trick twice. <laughs> Beach will have some truly pleasant way, which is Mule and only the Battler. Yeah, I get it. You told me I was to swallow information given to my given to my editors, but think for myself. I swallowed the mag that Beato showed me. I stopped thinking. So I was useless. No, useless is a chick on Tumblr who thinks I'm annoying, and I'm not. Now I grimace as he remembered his many, many pitiful, painful losses. The witch watched and laughed again, putting on a bold exterior. In the last game, Virgila, who I had followed as an ally, who had been on the witch's side. I need it for cheese. How are we going to get that eerie smile worn by Virgila, who had fought of a trustworthy out of his head? That's right. Saying it lost because I followed the moves of an outsider would be too pathetic of an excuse. Oh yeah, my opponent is a battler. You are nothing more than an outsider. You should bear that in mind. <laughs> outside Outsiders was a really good book. And a movie. Book was awesome. Book's always better than the movie. What an odd thing to say. Feeding from different positions and different angles. Is that what they call crossfire? <laughs> Interesting. Is that alright, Battler? This girl might actually be an ambush I set up, right? 
She might be saying possible to gain your trust, right? Maybe. She's been saying that over and over again herself. So, of course, I can't blindly accept her advice. Whether she's worthy to trust or not, I can think for myself and decide. As long as I don't stop thinking for myself, I won't be tricked by anyone again. Silly rabbit, shift to our kids. <laughs> what confidence you show me about her? After you said so much, it makes me want to trick you all over again, you see. I want to see what kind of face you'll make when you're even tricked again. I like it. <laughs> Looks like you know Naime, my name, but I don't know yours. Tell me your name. I mean, it's been like... I don't have a clock. I don't know, just what's your freak? what's your flubba data we doobity name? For a while, the girl made sound without changing her expression even once. She looked as if she couldn't decide whether to say her name or not, or possibly as though she was signing the name she was, she was saying on the spot. Ghetto? You are? Man, I am not ghetto. Man, that's not sewer, man. She's so ghetto, man. Did I actually call myself Hansel? <laughs> Just kidding. I'm using me a battler. Call me battler. Or Onichan. A lot of people call me Onichan in this game. No one's scarred on that, but don't tell them. Yeah, oh, really? Sorry. After all, it isn't certain that you're my ally. You just told me to keep my guard up, too. Bower drew his hand, drew, drew back his right hand, which he had stuck out. A bitter smile disappeared when his place was stronger at position resolution for the fourth, the new fourth game. Maybe she was thinking about something. Gretel clenched her fist or fist in front of her chest and hung it hung her head in silence. I lost her words for a short while. And it was smash from that silence, Bito spoke up in a forceful voice. Go that should be enough and then trying for Gretel or whatever. Come try and remember what happened on October 4th. Yeah, the current hope is on the fourth game. Next time on Yumi Neko, please do the please like do the cut. At the same time, as though it had been blown by a single gust of wind, the clock which had turned back to October 4th, 1986 started to move. While we remain in the witch's tea room, the blue gray sea and the, gr and the green Rokujima spread out beneath us. We see a boat hanging there, like its 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 wake trained behind it. The sky was already climbed, but seeing that the barrier of the typhoon would shut it, the island away. Next time on Yumineko, we start the fourth game. Or not. Come on. I want to be dramatic. The boat docked in the harbor, and Gota could be seen being being unloaded. Then, the boat dropped all the passengers and began to separate from the island. The rose started to get swallowed up by the island. <laughs> Your spirit is ever Maria. Ranch on Trippy aren't careful. Look out. Woo woo! Fall, fall, sink, sink, yeah! The long missed cousin I had loved dashed across the beach. Getting swallowed up by the forest, path the legend mansion disappeared. And of course, I mean, you're gonna be seen among them too. <laughs> wait, wait, Maria, nimble little nimble, you nimble little brat. Yeah, you, you can't. Rio Nichon, who I had loved, started dashing, and started dashing, and Nichon chased after her. They were swallowed up by the forest. Following them, father and mother were also swallowed up. First, the parents were swallowed up. They were swallowed up, leaving only me behind.